All right, now that's that's one big thing down. Mmm. We could go back to the Coliseum. Or... No, what about the Grandpa Grub? Because we have, like, 10k money right now. I'm hoping he'll give me, like, maybe 4.5k, and then I'd be able to afford the thing from the vine. Yeah, does that sound okay? And then, of course, we also have the ancient basin at the bottom there, but... <sighs> I think we're, we're pretty much nearing clearing out this entire map, except for the little spot, so... You know what? You know what? Let's go to the grandpa. Maybe see how much money we get. And then, since the Black Egg Temple's right next over anyway, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, there is no stag station here, so I will... walk all the old-fashioned way. Why not? Oh, we still gotta try to figure out the ringing here. I'm not leaving without you. Don't you worry. Oh! I can walk around freely now. Come on, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Whoa! You can hear it! It's here. Oh! Oh, here we go! Oh! Oh! Whoa! Oh, that's tricky, because they put it a little bit... Because the sound is just where the artifact is, but it doesn't mean the entrance is near there. Sometimes we gotta look a little bit further away. Okay. Yes, thank you. I'll take 25. A chest only gives 25, that's kind of stingy. Whoa! What am I looking at here, like... Mining equipment? Or tomb making equipment? There's more. Can we open it like this? Hello. You fool me twice. <laughs> All that for a hollow nest seal. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's still money. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's that's money. This is all done now. Oh, you know what? I think the last time... Okay, before we actually go back here, since we're kind of in the area... When I was in Crystal Peak, I think, like, around this area or so... Oh, yeah, I never figured out what this was. Um, I think there might have been a crumbly ground I missed. I saw it in editing, but I, uh... I'm not really near it right now. But at the same time, this is one of those places where... We just won't get a chance to fast travel there because there's no stag station. So you know what? I'm gonna go there, and then... Maybe what I'll do is... Yeah, I'll like walk... I'll walk to the stag station maybe, and then... Because it's on the way anyway, and then set a dream gate, and then walk over there, maybe get rid of the crumbly ground, and then we'll dream gate back to the stag, and then go back over here? Yeah? Does that sound good? Alright. I just realized, it'll probably be easier for me to actually just go directly back to Dirtmouth from here, right? And then go to Crystal Peak, because Dirtmouth is connected to Crystal Peak. Yeah. The return trip might be a little bit of a trek, so maybe I'll put the Dream Gate right here. No need to put it over there. And then the Grandpa's kinda near here anyway. Hey, everybody. Akala. Things are so much simpler in the fading town. Well, yeah, but do you all want to live in fear all the time, though? I feel like that's not exactly ideal either. I'm getting lazier and lazier. We're just using our essence like that now. Oh, putting one down doesn't use essence. Only traveling to the gate uses essence, I think. Okay, we gotta get back all the way to the peaks up top. <gasps> gotta remember to super dash. I can't make it across some of these chasms. Now I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna be missing like little things here and there, but 
If I see it, if I know it's there, I'll try my best to get to it. If I don't, then I guess that's just gonna be the way it is. Depends. It depends on if by the end, they make like an entry being like, Hey, you missed this and that. And then, you know, if they do, I might be a little bit more compelled to try to figure them all out. <laughs> so here's the bench. Yeah, we'll just go straight up. Oh, uh, rest here just in case. I don't think we'll be bumping into anything scary, or we shouldn't be. Yeah, like the first time, or the second time we came here, I think I missed the crumbly ground as well, so we went back for that one. Right here, over there. The rancid eggs. So what, what do we do with the rancid eggs anyway? We've had it for so long, but we can't sell them. They're just stacking up here. Oh! Beautiful. It's almost like I know how to play this game. Woo! Oh, come on. <gasps> you dumb thing. Wow, you're all really ruining my day. Oh! Dang it. I just remembered. We never dream nailed the tree that was here before. So now I feel compelled to go look at it. Light refracted. Energy contained. That's it? Energy contained. Light refracted. Um... <laughs> Things are starting to look a little bit... Everything is so spiky here. <laughs> See, when I... I don't have the flower on me, so immediately I'm like, whoop de doo and I'm just getting hit left and right. Oh my gosh. These guys still take so many hits. Well, I don't have any sort of healing on me right now. We might want to be a, a tad more careful. See, I can do it when I'm careful. It's just that I'm not careful half the time. Or over half the time, I would say. <laughs> okay, where was that crumbly ground? Oh, jeez. <gasps> Don't be like that. Everybody's all spiky here. Oh, jeez. Right here. See, I'm standing on it. When you dash past stuff quickly, it's really easy to miss the stuff. A little bit of money. I'll take it. <laughs> Is that really all I came back for? Wait, where... Where am I? Well, I don't want to die. I don't want to die here. I can't even get them! Here we go. Breaking out of that. I see. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much all I came back for. Just a small little thing before we go to Mr. Grandpa. If we need more money, the Colosseum might be a good place, too. The earlier challenges are kind of easy, right? Well, I mean, by now it's easy. Not that it's normally easy. And then we can probably get quite a bit of money that way as well. Excuse me, I'm just gonna come up here. Yeah, we don't have to. I'm just, um, wondering if we can look at those texts again. Because sometimes looking at it after you learn about a lot of things, you might be able to come to new conclusions about the lore. Yo. Still gotta be careful, though. Oh! I knew we couldn't dash all the way to the end, but I did it a little bit too early. Whoa, dude, we're... Whoa, whoa. People everywhere! Chill out, chill out. Here we go. So up top, it does seem like 
I still have no idea what I'm looking at here. Like, what are those? Because uh, according to Bardoon, wasn't the worm's body up top? Like, what we saw at the very bottom, where we found the king's brand, was like the molted shell. But the actual body... Is this the actual body? I can't tell. It looks kind of man-made, though. It looks more like architecture, like all these little bridges here. Oh, there isn't even text. I think we might have just picked up like a king's idol here or something then. Well. Oh. Ah, okay. So if you if you super dash off the ledge, you end up over here instead. So this is nothing. Again, why are these maps like that? Why is it just It looks like there's something here, but there isn't. They should just fill it out. That'll make things a lot easier. But otherwise, I think that's pretty much it then. There's not really... anything here at all. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's Dreamgate back then, because I'm lazy. Little bit of money. We have 11-ish K now. Hi, everybody. Hope I'm not scaring you. Oh, I gotta switch on my charms. That's right. We should be prepared for bad things happening at the Black Egg Temple. So we should be going in as if we're gonna be fighting. I think that should be my plan here. It depends on if we can get enough money from Grandpa though, because if we can get Unbreakable Strength, that could be a really big upgrade. But again, depends on how much money we can get. Okay, I'll still have Weaver's song. No, Grub? Grub song I think is really important, actually. <laughs> and then the rest of this... Uh... Take away the compass for now. We don't need it, probably. Okay. Let's go this way. No more ringing here, finally. No, I'm not. No, thank you. Bye. We haven't come across places to get essence anymore. How do I get more? It must be in one of the blocked off places. Whoa! Are you all making different noises? Oh my god, this is like trypophobia hell. <laughs> I don't want to look at this. I know you're all very cute, but I don't really. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How much money is this? <gasps> ooh. Ooh. Hey. Better not despawn. Waha. Oh, I'm playing with fire here. Okay. Oh! Dang it! We're just off by a little bit. A little bit. King's Idol! Oh! That... that's it. That's it, right? King's Idol. Pale Ore! Fantastic! Fantastic! Pale Ore. Grubber Flies Elegy. Contains a gratitude of grubs who will move to the next stage of their lives, imbues weapons with a holy strength. When the bearer is at full health, they will fire beams of white hot energy from their nail. What? What? Oh, we've got to try that out. <gasps> what? Thank you, Grandpa. Oh, every single hole is filled up now. That's so scary. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm very glad you're all back home. Yeah, have fun and don't get lost again, okay? It's a, it's a dangerous world out there. Well, now I really want to try out the... No, you know what? We have a pale ore. We should go back to the nailsmith. But that's gonna use some money, too. Oh, we don't have enough money for all the stuff we want. Mm. Yeah, okay, let's go back. Okay, I thought I was gonna go Black Egg Temple right now, but let's go back a little bit first. City of Tears, nailsmith. 
And then sell my king's idol. And then come back. I know there's a lot of traveling here in what feels like endgame. City storerooms. Okay. We are pretty near the nailsmith now. This is three... Oh, let's take this off. I just want to see what happens. Because it sounds so crazy. But at the same time, it only works when I have full health. Which is basically never. Whoa! What if I do a nail art? No? Oh. That's pretty sweet. Although, only at full health, so... How useful is that actually going to be? I wonder if it's the same damage as my normal nail attack. That's sweet. Alright. Here we are. Just to test a little bit outside here. Okay, these guys already normally die in one hit. One. Two. One, two. I'm expecting maybe those guys will die in one hit from now on, which would be insane. Did these guys all die in one hit? By the way, when I uh, when I was walking here, I killed one of the Lance Sentry guys, and they gave me the Hunter Journal, and I'm pretty sure I forgot to read the um, 80s Rockstar guy, right? After I finished the quest, I just left there. I forgot to read it. Uh, I think it was... This guy. Dances through the air just out of reach until it spots an opening, then swoops in for a decisive strike. If you're confident, wait for it to come to you, then counterattack. Was it this guy or was it this guy? This devious foe will often keep its distance to try to pick you off with its thrown weapons. When it charges at you, leap up and strike it down. The other one... Spiny Husk. The spines they fire seem to be mildly poisonous. Don't use them to clean between your fangs after eating. <laughs> uh, I won't. Don't worry. I don't even have teeth. Do I have teeth? I haven't seen them. Nailsmith. Hi. To forge the perfect nail. Ah, Ranjo Stenja. Hmm? Oh, you've returned. I see you have some pale ore. A rare fine metal, that. Give me the ore and some geo for my efforts, and I'll reforge your nail to make it stronger. Oh, I have that, but I'm not gonna have enough for the vine then. But I still don't have enough for the vine right now anyway. Okay. This is probably... Actually, which one is better here? Well, the nail is a direct upgrade forever, a permanent upgrade, but the unbreakable strength as long as I have the charm on, it might be even more. But the, the caveat is that I have to have the charm on. As you wish. I'll get to work then. Garadel Akari. It's done. The reforging is done. Your nail is much stronger than it used to be. As strong as it could ever be. And only your weapon. I have seen such potential. Finally, I behold the majesty of a pure nail. To think this moment has come upon me so soon. I... I must step outside a moment. Whoa, he turned off his forge and all that too. <gasps> it's pretty. Whoa, those markings look a lot like the mask. Hey, wait, we don't have any more? It's not empty, it's just one full mask. Was it always like that, or...? Because I thought if we didn't have any shards, it would just show an empty mask, but now it's showing a, a full mask. It looks like it's part of a set. Pure nail, the ultimate weapon of Hallow Nest, crafted to perfection. This ancient nail reveals its true form. True form, ancient nail.
My life's work achieved. What more is left? Ah, Ranjo Stenja. With a pure nail forged, my work in this lifetime comes to an end. My only remaining desire is to see and feel the nail strike true. I beg you, cut me down. As my final moment in life, I want to taste the blade's exquisite edge. After all this time, all this toil, haven't I earned it? Oh, what? Oh... I don't... Oh, you want me to kill you? What? No, you want me to strike you. But this nail is so strong, if I try to strike you, I'll probably kill you. But you're perfectly alive and well, though. You're not infected. If you're infected, I'll gladly put you out of your misery, but... Can we have a think about this, baby? Can we test out the nail first? I don't even want to test swing because I have that... Yeah, I have the little blade thingy on right now. Oh, you can play a little bit differently if you have this charm on. Because you can just jump up and get people from far away. Let me test it on... Wasn't there a guy here? The other guy, the sentry guy. Yeah, this dude. See, I don't have full health, so it doesn't activate. Still takes two. Yeah, not quite enough for an upgrade entirely into one hit. Um... Can we... Can we talk about this later, dude? Like, I don't... I... I... I kill... Infected beings. I kill because people kill me. But to kill the person who forged my nail... That seems a bit... Like, you're the reason why I've been surviving okay down in Hollowness. To kill you just seems a bit... Can we have a think about this? I don't know if that's... Oh. I'm guessing you don't have any more upgrades then, right? If I try to, like... Oh, that could have been perfect. Did I deny him though? Oh no, it's not even... <gasps> Did he off himself anyway? He's gone. Oh no, maybe I should have done it then. Kind of feel like I just denied a dying man's last wish. But at the same time, you didn't have to be dying, you know? So it felt kind of like... Like I was gonna... Do something horrible to you, even though you were so good to me. Oh... I guess what's done is done. Well... Next up should be... We can get a little bit of money back with the, the whole King's Idol business. Oh! Hey, that did kill it in one hit. Didn't it? Or maybe it was the blade, the little upgrade, plus the actual hit. Oh, we were so close to 15k. We actually had it, but that upgrade took it. Velmi Artrid. Yeah, we could have we could have had it. Oh well I Velmi guess. Artrid. Mm. Velmi Artrid. Okay. Alright then. Well, I think... Yeah, I... I feel like we're dawdling a little bit. I think we should just go back and go to the Black Egg Temple now. Mm-hmm. And then we can go to the Ancient Basin and all that. We've already unleashed it. Whether or not we go visit it, it's already happening. Whatever is happening there, so... Might as well go try to find out now. The epitome of laziness. Thank you. So this is nice, but I think it's more of a I'll play with it if I have time. Oh look, the grub grubber fly. Oh. 
It's turning into like a, a butterfly, but a grubber fly. That's nice. Maybe all those babies will turn into grubber flies. Anyway, that's not one that I want for any potential battle. So the setup that I had before was what? I think we had Weaver Song and Grub Song. Hmm. This is kind of a spell dependent build though. I might want Quick Slash or whatever, depending on what happens down there. But for now, we'll see. Yeah. I I think it's very hard for me to believe that there's no fight down there. But yeah, like, like I said, we'll see. Yeah. Let's go. Straight to the right side, basically. It's right here. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, what am I even... What is the... Dude, this is a gigantic bug. I never looked at it, but the... We enter the door here, but these are eyes, right? Like, this is this window is an eye. This window is the other eye, and then it's a gigantic bug. The black... Whatever bug it is. Oh, wow. Whoa! Oh! Oh! <gasps> How big is this bug? How big is this egg? Oh, well, the ground. We're activating something. Chains. See, this stuff looks like what we just saw in Crystal Peak. So is that like supposed to be a broken open egg? Oh no, there's a bench here. What the heck is that noise? Look, there's shade material coming out. The little circles. But there's also little white circles. We haven't seen that kind of circle before. Empty circles. Vessel, though bound, you shall know the state of the world. Hollow Nest will be whole again. Completion percentage viewable in inventory. What? Completion, 93%. Oh, wow. Does it, does it break down? Does it just show a percent? Well, that's kind of useless, right? Oh! Encountered 140, completed 119. Oh no, oh no. Ah, you know what that means. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that if I see these numbers, what my reaction is. <laughs> I'm gonna want to complete it. <laughs> okay. This is an in-lore way of telling me, hey, we'll tell you about what you don't know. Yeah, it's basically giving me the completion percentage. Oh no. Uh oh. <gasps> Look! Wait, it's white! It's white! Why is it white? Why is it not black? The eyes are orange. Whoa! Oh my god, it's looking at me. Why don't we just kill it while it's bound? Oh, damn it. 
The only reason it's not moving is because it's bound right now. Oh my god. I can't dream nail you. Can we at least take away its weapon? This is clearly its nail right here. Why are you s Oh my god. The Hollow Knight was a great hero, but this is like... The infected version, maybe. You can be a hero in your waking life, but if you're... Oh god. If you got infected, and that's another story. Oh, I don't... Oh god. I like being on this side. Damn you. Ooh. Just, just spam this. It's infected. Oh, the healing time. Oh no! Okay, no more healing time, no more healing time. What are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa, I'm sucking it in. That's infection, though. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why? What? <gasps> oh, that oh, that was a freaking ending. Shoot. What? But that's just one ending, right? Cuz I know this game has multiple endings, so we can we can probably go back and try to do other stuff. But what the heck just happened there? Okay, clearly we defeated the Hollow Knight. And then we became the one bound? Okay. The vessel is a vessel for infection. Is this the cruel thing that the king did? To try to uh, contain the infection? I don't think he tried to get rid of it. He tried to contain it. Maybe in the vessels. And then the Hollow Knight is a vessel. But I think um when it was... When we looked at it, the horn was cracked, right? Its face was cracked. So maybe that's why... The infection was leaking out slowly. What happened now is it seems like I've replaced it as the container? Well, does it mean that people will be safe? Does that mean that the infection will actually be contained though? But that's not a good thing for me! I don't want to be stuck in there! What? No! More importantly, more importantly, hey, at the end, before the credits, or maybe after the credits, that's when you're supposed to do the big lore dump, okay? Like, what? <laughs> we didn't learn anything here! We just killed the guy, and that was it. What? Hey, but that guy was way easier than I thought he'd be. He wasn't that bad at all. Hmm. Huh. Or maybe it's my new nail. Yeah, that might be it. But, um... Okay. Okay? What? Oh. 
Uh, well, I thought I thought the ancient basin would be after this part, but no, it looks like we were. Well, I mean, it's a Metroidvania, so there's not really like a, you're supposed to do this, you're supposed to do that. But yeah, we'll go back to the um, ancient basin now, and then maybe we'll see what happens there. Congratulations. Well done on achieving this great feat. You persevered and you triumphed. We hope you enjoy yourself in the world of Hollow Knight. We'll meet again soon on the road ahead. Okay. I need more. Steel Soul Mode. No shade, no reviving. Death is permanent. The ultimate challenge. Haha, <laughs> no thank you. <laughs> no thank you. Get out of here. Oh, whoa. What am I even looking at here? A beating heart? It's orange. Do I just go back in again? Oh, but it puts me at my last saved point. Okay. Right, so I think this means we can continue exploring and coming back here later on. Especially since we know that- Ah! Wait, encountered! The number is different, right? It used to be 140. Oh, oh, okay. It kept the record of me defeating him. Hollow Knight. Fully grown vessel. Carrying the plague's heart within its body. Fully grown. Is that why it's so big and I'm so small? Because I'm, like, a baby? Literally? <laughs> Carrying the plague's heart. Ah, okay, so the plague's heart is probably what the main menu was then. It's an orange beating heart. The old king of Hollow Nest. Oh! He must have been desperate to save his crumbling little world. The sacrifices he imposed on others. All oh, for nothing. <gasps> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, this guy might have been the old king, right? Because the king... The whole thing about the aggressive horns? But then, the old king? So, does that mean there's a new king then? What? That's... Somehow we're getting more information, but things are not really getting any clearer. Oh. Let's... Let's mull on this information a little bit. I feel like there's, there's a lot to unpack here. Yeah, let's take a little bit of a break. And then when we come back, we will continue exploring literally everything except for the ancient basin. Okay, bye. <laughs>